Hey YouTube friends and family, it's Michelle and I am here today with my first haul of July 2023, my first grocery haul that is. Um, it is actually July the 3rd and my mom's having a cookout tomorrow so I'm going to be making a few things for that. So I needed to go to the grocery and pick up a few things for that and my doggies needed pads for their... Uh, belly bands and their panties that they wear in the house. So I definitely needed to go to the grocery today to get that stuff for them. My total for today was $80.36. And sorry, um, I was trying to get a piece of paper here. I also wanted to let y'all know that my Sam's Club haul that you'll see. Uh, prior to this video, that was my last grocery haul of June. So, what I ended up submitting for June was the final total I gave you in that video, which was $359.67. I don't think that was bad, considering it had a Sam's haul in it, so we'll see how we do this month. Um, I don't think I bought soft drinks all last month, so that helped me a whole lot because soft drinks are just way expensive. And I'm trying to cut back on them, but I'm doing pretty good. But I definitely know I'm going to have to buy those. This month, I was hoping there would be a sale on them this week for the 4th of July. Unfortunately, the cheapest I could find them was four 12-packs for $15. And I don't think that's cheap. So, no, we're not going to pay that. So, we're going to wait. <coughs> So, um, yeah, so I went to Walmart today, and like I spent, like I said, I spent $80.36. Um, a lot of this stuff is, like I said, to make some things for the 4th of July, which is tomorrow, and then, um, just a few little odd new things and stuff. So, I'm going to show you what I got today. So, I needed some milk, so I got a half a gallon of milk, needed some sour cream, so, um, I got some sour cream, also needed, um, some cream cheese, so I got two blocks of that, because I'm going to need that for a dessert that I'm making, I needed the sour cream for some lo loaded potato salad that I'm making, so the cream cheese is for the dessert. Over here we have some green onions, which is for the loaded potatoes. I got some more strawberries because I'm really loving putting this in my lemonade. So I'm out of strawberries, so I got some more of those. I got some diced ham. I love putting this in my omelets. And this package that I get at Walmart goes a long long way i used to get the kentucky legend at iga and i really can't tell the difference in the taste or anything and it didn't last me nearly as long and it was almost just as expensive as this package so this is a really good deal um especially if you like um ham and cheese omelets i do ham and cheese and bacon so really really good so, I got another package of that. Um, I got some more Lay's potato chips. Because, you know, pretty much every grocery haul that I do has Lay's potato chips. Unless they're way, way up there in price. But, I think they were two seventy five dollars a day. Which is not too bad. Um, then I also got a loaf of the five cheese bread from Pepperidge Farms. This stuff is really good. I like to eat this when I make, like, pasta dinners and stuff. So, I picked that up. We'll go back here again. I got two of, let's see. I got two of the great big cans of green beans. And then I got two of the little cans. They finally have, like, the cut green beans today. Um, they haven't had these in forever. They had the organic kind, but they didn't have, like, the regular kind. So, um, 
it was like slim pickings on green beans at Walmart for there for a while. And it's still today. I mean, a lot of the shelves were bare over there. So I don't know what's going on with the green bean situation. But while they had them today, I went ahead and picked up two big cans because I like to put uh, like the little baby uh, white potatoes in there that you get like in the can and then put some bacon and stuff in there and just put them in like the crock pot and let them cook all day and uh, then put like some smoked sausage in there and just make a meal of it. So that's why I have the two big cans because I can do meals for those and then I got the littler cans just for uh, sides and stuff when I want to do sides. And then I also got some bread and butter pickles. If you have never had bread and butter pickles, I highly recommend them. They're so good. So I got a jar of those because I want to make some smash burgers here soon. Um, we've done, done the bread. I got some provolone cheese because I'm also wanting to make some Philly steak sandwiches. And I did not have provolone cheese. I was going to make those the other night and realized I didn't have the cheese. So, um, I held off on those. Then, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to make some shrimp scampi. And I got two packages of this garlic and butter shrimp scampi seasoning. So, I'm going to try that. Again, there's my two cans of the smaller green beans. Um, and then I got two cans of pie filling. I got one of blueberry. And that's going to be the dessert that I'm going to make for the 4th of July. And then I also got a can of apple pie filling. And I'm going to do like an apple cobbler in the um, slow cooker for dessert one night. So that ought to be good. I see that on Ju Julia Pacheco's, I believe it's her channel. Um, I see that on her channel. She just did a video of all different kind of slow cooker dinners and stuff. And one of them was like peach cobbler, but she said you could, um, you know, use any kind of pie filling, which I like peach cobbler, but apple just sounded really good. So I did that. And then I got some of the Bushes Baked Bangings. I always get the um, brown sugar um, hickory, and these are really, really good. So I bought those. Um, I got one of the Suddenly Salads. These are really good for a side, especially on hot summer days. I got the Caesar uh, flavor. Um, the vanilla cake mix, that is for the cobbler. You have to use a cake mix, and she said to use a vanilla cake mix, so that's what I got. Um, and then I got one of these pineapple, um, uh, cake mixes. I'm going to try to do a pineapple upside down cake. That just sounds really, really yummy, too, for the summertime. Um. I decided to get this Honey Hot Duke's um, barbecue sauce, and I can't remember who it was. I want to say it was Mel at Mel's Kitchen, but I could be completely wrong. But anyway, it was somebody, uh, but that's what I'm wanting to say it was. She used this on some hot dogs and made them in the um, deep fryer. Or not the deep fryer, but the air fryer. And she said it was like her favorite meal of the week. So, yeah, I'm going to try this. And I know anything. I always call this a Dukes. I guess it's the bullhead that gets me or whatever. But it's Kinder's. And. Um, Anything that I ever get from Kinders, it's always good. So, um, I'm sure I'm going to like this. So, I got that to do the hot dogs, maybe. Um, I got two pie crusts. That's for the dessert that I'm making for 4th of July because it does make two. So, I'm going to keep one and take one to the cookout, which is a good deal. And then the last day food 
oriented was I picked these up in the aisle as I was checking out. It's just the Lifesaver gummies. I love these things. So, just sounded good. I hadn't had them in a long time, so I picked me up the package of those. And then, like I said, the doggies needed pads, so I bought Miracle one package, and then I bought Jackson two packages. So, because Miracles, I could cut, I cut hers in half, so they go, a package goes twice as far, so that's why I only bought one package for her. So, yeah, so that is what, $80.36 will get you these days at your Walmart, at least here in Southern Indiana. So, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'm sure this will probably go up after the 4th of July. So, I hope you and your family and your loved ones and friends all had a wonderful and safe and happy 4th of July. And we'll be back with more videos. Bye-bye. Oh, you know what? I still got more stuff. I'll be back. I forgot to put everything out. I'll be back because there's a few more things that I forgot. That haven't been put out. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that, but I forgot to put everything out. I realized as I was getting ready to um, end the video that I didn't have my ice cream. And then I looked over and I seen a few other things that I didn't have. So, uh, yeah, I got some of these Neapolitan ice cream sandwiches. Um, I've never seen the Neapolitan ones, but I think it was... Um, Oh, um, Southern Life Drama, I think it was her that I saw haul these for her husband. He wanted some Neapolitan um, ice cream, and she got him the ice cream bars. So, I went for them today, and I found them, and so that just sounded really good. So, I got those. I got some more of this true fruit back here. This is the pina colada. It's the pineapple um, with coconut covered in white chocolate. Oh my gosh, they are so good. Probably my favorite snack uh, right now. So, love those things. I was almost out. I decided to get another package of them. And then the last thing I got was some of uh, the... Um, Great Value Whipped Topping, which is like Cool Whip, and that is for the desserts that I'm making for 4th of July. So, that is what $80.36 will get you at my Walmart these days. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hello, you two friends and family. It's Michelle, and I'm here with another grocery haul. Today is July the 18th, and I went to my neighborhood Walmart, and it looks like I spent $82.39, so combine that with the $80.36 for my previous balance of this month, my total now is at $162.00 and 75 cents so not too bad considering we're more than halfway through july so i will take it <laughs> so luckily i've had a lot of stuff in my pantry and my freezer and stuff that i've been able to use for dinner this month so i really haven't had to have a whole lot from the grocery so i'm gonna show you what that $82 and change got me today at Walmart. So I went over there just to pick up a few things. And really, I went with the list. And I think I pretty much stuck with the list. There might have been one or two things that I got that weren't on the list. But everything else, pretty much on the list. So I'm pretty proud of myself. So, and it looked like they were, they just stopped. <clears throat> so the shelves were really, you know, full and everything. So I could have been bad, <laughs> but I wasn't. So uh, I'm just trying to get what I need and 
That way I don't have to worry about wasting anything. So, we're going to get started. I needed some milk. My milk just expired, so I think it's still good. You know, it usually lasts a couple of days or whatever, but I went ahead and got another half gallon because I don't want to have to walk over there for another four or five days, hopefully, because it is just hot and humid here in southern Indiana. So I was dreading the walk today. Um, so I did get a half a gallon of milk. Um, and then I got, it's so funny because I was looking back at some old YouTube, uh, once for dinner videos of mine, because I was trying to find a recipe that I did. And I came across one where I had gotten the dill pickle, um, salad kit mix from Sam's Club, and that's the only place I'd ever seen it, and I really liked it. Well, the last time we went to Sam's Club, I looked for that uh, salad kit, and they didn't have it. So today, I was just going to get some romaine lettuce and uh, some iceberg lettuce and uh, to do some salads and some sandwiches, and lo and behold, they had, whoops, they had the dill pickle salad. So I was really happy to see that. I wish it would have been a little further out of date because I would have went ahead and picked up two of them. Because I think that's just like a seasonal thing. So, but yeah, um, if you like pickle, I highly recommend this salad. And I'm not a real, I mean, I like pickles, but I'm not like... I know there are some people that are just, like, huge pickle fans. Um, but I'm not that way. But I do like pickles. And I think just... it's. I know Caesar salad is my favorite, but it's very close to my Caesar salad. So, yeah, it's a good salad. Um, I also got a French uh, loaf of bread because I'm wanting to make some knockoff... Um, Subway sandwiches, and uh, this was it, it was gonna last for several days, and I'm not gonna be making those for several days. And their bread is cheaper than anywhere else, so I went ahead and picked the bread up there, but I didn't get the lunch meat there because I'm not a real big fan of Walmart's lunch meat. So, um, about the only lunch meat I ever get there is that Cajun Gideo uh, turkey, and that stuff is good. Otherwise, I usually either get it from IGA or Schnucks. So, anyway, I went ahead and got the uh, French bread because I knew I was going to be making those within the next couple of days. And if for some reason I'm not, I can always freeze it. And freeze is good. I also got some English uh, muffins. I seen uh, if the creek doesn't rise, she made some little sandwiches on uh, some English muffins, some little sausage sandwiches. They just looked really good. I love English muffins, so I get them on occasions and stuff. So I went ahead and picked those up, and they're the great value. They're a lot cheaper than, uh, I usually get the Thomas, I think it is, and these are a whole lot cheaper than those. So, picked those up. Um... There is some cilantro. I don't know what the deal was with uh, Walmart's produce today, but they had no bags to put any kind of produce in or anything. So, yeah. <laughs> Just had to grab them and put them in the cart. And then I need some lime juice because I'm going to be making some um, uh, pulled pork carnitas for uh, some uh, street tacos. And that's what the cilantro is for as well. That's what I basically went over there to get was all the ingredients for that because I'm going to be putting that in the crock pot uh, probably early in the morning so it could cook all day because it usually takes about 8 to 12 hours to cook it. So, um, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and go over there and get all the ingredients tonight so I had them. Then I got some strawberries, you know. I've been loving my strawberry lemonade, so I got that. Uh, back there is just some shredded iceberg lettuce. I got that for my Subway sandwich and possibly other sandwich or salads or something. I don't know. Um, I got some balsamic vinegar. 
Um, thinking about maybe trying that on my sun sandwich. I don't know. I've never had this stuff, so I don't even know what it tastes like. So, I'm going to try it, you know, pour a little bit on there and just see how I like it. But I've seen other recipes um, where they've been using this. And I think they do something called grinders or something uh, where they're using this and stuff. And I just want to try those. So, yeah, um, I got a bottle of that. So, hopefully the Great Value brand is good because I know salad dressings can vary by brand and everything too. So, I could happen to try that and like it or not like it, and then try another brand, and it tastes completely different. So, I'm hoping Great Value um, does be good on that. <laughs> so, because it was a lot cheaper than their uh, day brands. So, um, I also got some of the Philadelphia cream spread, um, cream cheese spread, and the garlic and herb. I like to mix this with, like, sausage and stuff. Uh, you can mix it with chicken, you know, you can mix it with anything. Or you could just put it on crackers if you want to. It's really good. But I like to mix it with, like, uh, breakfast sausage and do different things with that. So, hadn't done that in a while, so I picked that up because it lasts for quite a while. The guacamole is for the street tacos tomorrow night. As is the feta cheese. Um, I got some chive dip to go with the Subway sandwiches when I make those. I got some cottage cheese because I just ate my last um, serving of that the other night. Uh, what did I have? Oh, I made Philly steak. I made Philly steak sandwiches one night, and then I took the leftover meat the next night and made Philly steak pasta. And then I had some cottage cheese on the side, so it was really good. I love it when you can take leftovers and make them makeovers, which is what I did with that Philly steak meat. So anyway, I needed some more cottage cheese because I am going to be making some tortellini also within the next couple of days. And I just like to have cottage cheese with my pasta. I don't know what it is, but I like cottage cheese with my pasta. And plus, if I'm going to be having salads and stuff, I may mix it in with my salads because... I'm really digging that, too. So, I got that. I got a bag of plain Lay's chips. I've really not been eating them quite as much as I usually do. Um, I've been laying off the snacks quite a bit, actually. But I do like to eat my Lay's potato chips when I have, like, Subway sandwiches. So, I got those for that. That's why I got the dip as well. Um, I got some of the Smart Food White Cheddar Popcorn. This stuff is so, so good. Um, I got the Gordo's cheese uh, in the jalapeno. I don't know that I've had the jalapeno, but they say that this tastes just like the restaurant style. I think I usually get the one that's got the blue lid. I could be wrong. But anyway, um... I like the other kind that I get as well, so, but I don't really think that it tastes exactly like restaurant style. I make some, um, here at home, using land, uh, is it land between the lakes, white cheddar cheese, or not white cheddar, American cheese, and green chilies, and like, um, I think it's half and half milk. You just put it in the crock pot, or you can do it on the stove. I usually do it in the crock pot. You melt it, and oh my gosh, it does. It tastes just like our restaurant style of cheese dip anyway, so it's really good. But anyway, I've got some from uh, Sam's Club in the fridge. But again, I don't think it quite tastes like restaurant style either, and I'm really wanting restaurant style cheese dip. So that's why I got this to use for the tacos. Um, actually, I'm not going to, I probably won't use those on my tacos, my street tacos, but usually when I make these carnitas, I have a whole lot of it, and, um, I usually make tacos one day, and then the next day I'll make, uh, nachos, and then I usually freeze the rest, because, like I said, it makes a ton, so I'll probably use this for the nachos. Um, 
Then I got some pie crust because I'm wanting to make a quiche. I made one before and they're so good. And again, if the creek doesn't rise, she made a quiche on there and it got me going with that as well. So I got some pie crust so I could do those. Um, I needed another can of the apple filling uh, pie pie filling. I bought this in my last grocery haul, but I only bought one jar or one can, and I actually need two cans because I'm going to be um, making a um, cobbler in my crock pot, so, and it called for two cans, so, and I wrote that on my grocery list, but I only picked up two cans, and I know they had, they had more than one can, so that wasn't it either. I just spaced out at the grocery store. <laughs> um, then I also got me some of these sausage sticks. I'm hoping these are good because the last few times I bought them at Walmart they have not been very good. Now, in my recent Sam's haul, I bought them and they were fine. But I'm almost out of them. So, because these are, these are my snack now. These are over potato chips and stuff. I like to eat one or two of these with a string cheese. So it's a good little snack, but when I eat one, they go a little further, but when I'm eating two at a time with the string cheese, yeah, they don't go as far. So that's why I'm almost out of the Sam's Club ones. And I know I'm not gonna be going back to Sam's Club this month and probably not next month either. So. Went ahead and picked these up, but they better be good, so, because <laughs> they're expensive, so, um, I got those, then I got some of the Rayo's, uh, soup, and I didn't need this, but I got this because I had some coupons that I printed out at coupons.com, um, I highly recommend trying that site out, it's, you know, completely free, and you can print out coupons, um, you're, usually limited to two coupons per coupon or whatever um some of them will limit you to one but usually the max you can print of a coupon is two and i do not recommend making copies of them because that is fraud so um i mean you can do it but if you use them and stuff um that is fraud and they can catch it because there's numbers on the barcodes and stuff. So, I don't recommend that because I am a couponer and, um, you know, I do couponing the right way. But I know there are a lot of people here on YouTube that don't necessarily do it the right way or, you know, um, have talked about people that haven't done it the right way and have gotten in trouble. But, yeah, definitely check out coupons.com. And you can print them for different devices. I mean, like, if you have a phone and your husband or your spouse or whatever has a phone, um, you can print them for both phones or whatever. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, just definitely make sure you don't print out um, over the amount that you're allowed on each device, so, but anyway, I had a coupon, and it was like two dollars off, and I was thinking these things were five dollars, but they're actually three dollars or something, it's the, um, sauce, the marinara sauce, and the alfredo sauce that's five something, but the coupon was for either the sauce or the soups, and I already had one of the Alfredo sauces in my pantry, so I decided to get another soup because I like that. I still have one more coupon to use, but it said on the coupon limit of one per day or whatever, so I was only allowed to use the one today. So I'll use the other one again, and I think I might try to get a sauce that time because um, I've never tried any of their marinara sauces, so... But I do like their Alfredo sauce, so... But I'm brand loyal to Ragu, so that's why I've never tried any of their, like, uh, pasta, their red sauces and stuff. Because I am pretty brand loyal to my Ragu. But I figure if I have a coupon, and it kind of, um, 
cost about the same, which it still will be about a dollar, dollar fifty more than what I usually get Ragu, but that's a whole lot better than three dollars and something more. So, and like I said, I've been happy with the Reos, um, Alfredo. I have tried their pizza sauce and I wasn't crazy about that. So, you know, and I do like their soups. I've tried, I think I've tried this soup. And then I've tried another one that's like sausage and potato, I think. It's really good. But this one is the chicken and gnocchi. So, yeah. Um, and that's the one I don't think I have in... Um, I have one of them in my cupboard. And I think the one that I have in my cupboard is the sausage one. So, uh, I'll have one of each now. These make a really good little dinner if you don't want to do anything. But... It's pretty much for one person, so. And it's just me, so. My doggies, but my doggies don't need soup, so. And then, I got some liquid gold, and golly, this stuff really is turning into liquid gold. And they just don't have cells on it no more. It's like, wow. So I'm glad that I'm really starting to drink more lemonade and stuff like that, because it helps on not going through this as quickly as I normally do, but um, yeah, it was $11.98 for a 24 pack, which I just think is absolutely ridiculous. So, um, but the cheapest I could find them this week was at IGA, and they had two 12 packs, but they don't want to sell until tomorrow. Um, the sale doesn't start until tomorrow. They're going to have two 12-packs for $10, which would be cheaper, you know, than the 24-pack. But I was out, I needed them, and I knew I wasn't going out tomorrow. And so uh, I just went ahead and picked them up at Walmart. But I will probably go to IGA later in the week, probably next Tuesday when I can get my mom's discount so I can get a little more knocked off and get a few but yeah that so far has been the cheapest i've found them since uh the week before fourth of july it's like oh my goodness so i got those and then the last thing i got was some q-tips because we were out of those and yeah i'm out there it's my haul so i need to get off here and go put all these cold things away because I'm sure they did not appreciate the trip from Walmart to my house. Because <laughs> it is, like I said, extremely hot outside. So, hopefully y'all are staying cool wherever you're at. And we'll be back with more hauls, y'all. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Michelle. And I'm back today with... Uh, it's a relatively small haul. Actually, it looks like a lot, but it's a combination of several different places sitting here. I didn't get much at any place that I went to, but I guess it all added up once I got home, especially when I had to carry all these groceries in, in the heat. Oh my gosh, it's so, so hot. Here in Southern Indiana, it's like in the 90s and the heat index is close to 100 and the humidity is just terrible so yeah i feel for you guys that are suffering this terrible heat wave hopefully it won't last long but we'll see guess can't complain because it is almost august but you know i just am not a girl that deals with the heat very well give me cold weather any day but I do not like the hot. So anyway, um, I cannot tell you the total because my mom was generous enough today to uh, pay for my groceries. So, you know, I can't thank her enough. It really, really helps me out a whole, whole lot. So uh, she just added my totals to hers when she was checking out. So I didn't have a, a separate receipt or anything. So I really don't know what this is. So it's just going to be, a, or as far as the cost. So it's just going to be a grocery haul. Um, I went to, let's see. What, let's see. One, two, three, went to four different places plus a little farmer's uh, stand. 
So um, it's a combination of Ruler, IGA, Walmart, Schnooks, and then like I said, we went to a little farmer stand. So I'll show you what I got. I'm going to start out at Ruler because that's where we went first. So I wasn't even planning on getting anything there, but you know how it is. So I ended up getting some lettuce because I was going to get that at Walmart. It's cheaper at Ruler. So I just went ahead and got that there. Um, I got some bananas because I'm going to be making some banana um, cream shake. Um, uh, cream shake. Uh, what do you call it? Milkshakes. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name. Yeah, that's what. So uh, I got three bananas. I got some canned steaks because I've been looking for these and uh, they've been hard to find here lately. And I made some cube steaks a while back for the first time and I really enjoyed them. So, yeah, I got those. I'm probably going to freeze them because uh, I'm not planning on making them anytime soon. But uh, they will be coming up in the future. Um, I got some fettuccine because I'm going to be making some chicken fettuccine. And I'm going to video that for uh, once for dinner because it's a recipe that we got from um, my great aunt um, who's passed away since. I think she was my aunt. I think she was my dad's aunt, so it would have her my great aunt. But, um, yeah, we didn't visit her a whole lot, but uh, my mom and dad went to visit her one time and she had made it and... They got the recipe because they liked it so much. So, I'll share that recipe. And, um, that's all I got at Ruler. So, like I said, I just didn't get a whole lot in, a, you know, many places. So, the reason for the grocery haul today was to go out and get some drinks. Unfortunately, no place really had drinks on sale this week at a good price. IGA was the cheapest, so that's where we went. Um, they had two 12-pack Pepsi products for uh, $10. And I tell you what, the people must not think people can do math. Because you can get two 12-packs, which is 24 cans, for $10. Or you could buy a case of uh, Pepsi products, which is 24 cans, for $12. So, $2 difference. I'm like... Wow, you know, I know some people just don't pay attention to that, but I do. <laughs> you have to these days. So anyway, um, I ended up getting four. You're only going to see one sitting there. The other three are in, uh, put away already. So I just pulled out one of those. So I did get three. And then the only other thing that I got at IGA today was a roast. I've been, oh no, I'm sorry. I got um, some pork cutlets. They had those marked down. They only had one package. And my mom actually seen them and she pulled them and showed me. So I said, yeah, I'll take those. And then I got a small roast because I really don't need nothing real big for just me, myself, and I. And... I haven't decided if I'm just going to make a regular roast or if I'm going to do the Mississippi roast. Because I haven't done a Mississippi roast in a long, long time. But, yeah, so I got that. Um, and then we went to Walmart. So, at Walmart, I got some of the smart food, white cheddar popcorn, good stuff. I got some Lay's potato chips because I'm going to be making some knockoff Subway sandwiches. And I like to have potato chips for those. I got some of the shredded Parmesan, uh, or this is like the grated Parmesan by Frigo, um, for that fettuccine. I got some sour cream because I was out of that. Um, I got one of the Edward strawberry pies. I've been craving those since, um, what was it? Memorial weekend. I was going to get one Memorial Day weekend and we couldn't find them anywhere. So I was glad to see those. So I picked me one of, picked one of those up. Actually, no, it was the 4th of July. That was when I was going to get one. Um, then I also got some strawberries for my lemonade. Y'all know I've been drinking lots of strawberry lemonade. So good. Uh, got some chicken. I'm going to use this chicken. It's just the pulled rotisserie chicken. They've already pulled it for you. 
Um, I'm going to use this for uh, that fettuccine. My mom said she's used it, and it's really good in there. So that's what I'm going to do. Short uh, hack there, you know, for the kitchen. So I don't have to cook any chicken. It's already done for me. I got another one of the dill pickle um, salad kits. These are so, so good. So I got another one of those. I think it's just a seasonal thing. So that's why I went ahead and picked another one up. Um, I got Jackson some pads for his little belly band. And that's all I got at uh, Walmart. And then the reason why I went to Snooks was because Walmart was out of bread, the French loaf breads and stuff, the people who deliver it, because it's not a big Walmart, it's the neighborhood Walmart, and they don't bake it there, so, uh, the people that bring it to them, it's probably the other, like, one of the big Walmarts, they hadn't made it there yet today, so, there was absolutely no, uh, bread over in the deli and stuff, so, I needed bread for my Walmart sandwiches, so, I went to Schnucks to get that. So, there's my French loaf bread there. And then I got um, at Schnucks. I don't go there very often. But what I do, I like to pick up this taco sauce. Because them and Wesselman's are the only places here locally that I can find that carries the Old El Paso taco sauce. And it is my absolute favorite. So, I picked that up. I picked up some of the Bluebell Homestyle um, Vanilla Ice Cream. I've never had the Bluebell brand. It's so expensive, but uh, I splurged a little. I guess my mom splurged that she paid, but I didn't realize she was. No, actually, you know what? I did pay for the Schnucks thing, because, but I don't have my receipt, because I ran in there while she sat in the car. So I splurged. Because I was thinking, why did I get that? So I splurged a little and got this. Um, so I'm anxious to try this. But this is what I'm going to use for my milkshakes. Plus I'm going to be making like an apple cobbler in the um, crock pot. Which I've been planning on doing. But I haven't done because I wanted ice cream to eat with it. So now I've got my ice cream. So now I can make my cobbler. So that's all I got at Snooks. And then like I said, we stopped at a little farmer stand. And I got two green tomatoes to fry up. And the reason why we stopped there was because I was looking for an eggplant. Because none of my groceries have had them. So he happened to have one. And I'm going to fry that up. So, yeah. That is my haul, y'all. Sorry again, I don't have prices. But uh, thanks to my mama, I didn't have to worry about that today. So, big burden off my shoulders. Appreciate it so much, mom. So, yeah, that's my haul, and I'll be back with more, I'm sure, before the end of July. Bye-bye, y'all.